So confidence, yeah, it's a strange one, that, isn't it? Because I do feel much more confident now. Even when it wasn't long ago that I didn't feel that confident. You, you know what I'm talking about when we were working together the last time. Yes. I wasn't very confident at all. I had strong, strong purpose, but not much confidence to deliver that purpose. And it took a lot of time to, to build that. I would say to you, my confidence depends on the area where I am. But I'm much more confident now, like you say, than I was when I was younger. And when I was younger, it was about the people that I surrounded myself with. And I explained this before about the friends that I had. Friends impacted that confidence and actually drained that confidence. And this is why it's a really important message that when you're younger, um, Ryan's age or younger, is that you surround yourself with people that are going to help you be confident. And you need to distance yourself from people that aren't bring, aren't helping you become confident or undermining your confidence. My perspective on this is that, yes, I'm much more confident now I'm older and it does take time. It takes time. But I think there's also another side to this where just because you're older doesn't necessarily mean you're confident. Because I've come across older people that aren't confident. There were areas where my, my mum, bless her, was not confident, depending on what the area was. There are other areas where she was very confident. Even my dad, there's conf areas that they're confident in and areas they're not. But I definitely think as a general rule that that confidence does come out. You're more, I think as you get older, you're more, oh, yeah, this is this is what I found as my personal experience, the personal perspective and what I've been observing. You're more likely to speak your mind, I think, without so many filters. That's what I found. Um, and I've noticed it in, you know, because I converse with older generations like myself, like you said, Lee, right? So, but is I have noticed that. when you're that. sitting around in the nursing home waiting for like the pills yeah. and stuff to come around, yeah? That, that's right, yeah. That you know, waiting for your tour out, you know, waiting, getting on the bus and waiting for your, <laughs> you know, your, your tea out and everything, right? But I have noticed that. Um, but what I'm mindful of is that, you know, again, with the confidence thing is that although I can speak my mind, I am very conscious that you know, I have to do it in a way which, which is, is non-judgmental and that helps the situation rather than hinders it. So, it is, like you say, a real fine line between confidence and arrogance, and it's really important that we don't step over that line. Yeah. So that, for me, is is the confidence part of me. Yes, I feel more confident, but I've got to keep and make sure there's a check on it that it doesn't slip over into arrogance. Or I could become too unconfident. Like, I think you and Ryan talked about before, the pendulum swings, you know. You, yes. You, you enter, you're into an area sometimes, oh, I don't feel confident at all. How do I boost it? Oh, I'm really confident here. How do I sort of bring it back a little bit that doesn't, you know, sort and of not... settle into the middle. Yeah. So it's, so it's your... You're always constantly, I think, measuring it internally. But no, you're right. As generally, if you're going to ask me, yes, I feel more confident now than I did when I was younger. If that answers your question.